Hello students, in this video we are going to see the covalent bond and its characteristics or the properties. So learning outcome of this video is that after watching this video student will be able to identify covalent bond and write the formation of covalent compound and characteristics of the covalent compound. Okay, so let us proceed further. So what is covalent bond? The bond which is formed by mutual sharing of electrons. The bond which is formed by the mutual sharing of electrons between two combining atoms. These combining atoms either may be the similar or dissimilar atoms to form a molecule is called covalent bond. Again, I am going to repeat. So, how covalent bond? Co, co means you have to Marathi uh, madhe apan manto sahukaryo Co, co work, co education, co Okay, like that covalent bond Covalent means what? Mutual sharing of electron Means both the combining atoms have to share the equal electron That bond we are going to call as a covalent bond Okay, so the bond which is formed by the mutual sharing of electrons between two combining atoms either similar or dissimilar atoms to form a molecule is called covalent bond okay in electrovalent bond there is a compulsory the electrovalent bond it is formed between the two dissimilar atom okay it is only formed between co covalent or electrovalent bond is formed between the dissimilar atoms but covalent bond it may be formed either in similar or dissimilar atoms okay uh, so and the compound which is formed by such bond okay and jk compound form hotat covalent bond na tya compound la apan kutle compound man narot we are going to call it as a covalent compound so what are the examples of covalent bond water molecule water molecule water molecule covalent bond is present oxygen molecule what is the formula of oxygen o2 in o2 also covalent bond is present and in nitrogen molecule n2 there is also covalent bond is present okay so covalent bond it is nothing but the covalent bond co means there is a mutual sharing of electrons okay so um, there are the three types of covalent bond one is the single covalent bond which is represented by the single line okay you can see here okay. this is the single line which is used for the single covalent bond okay now see here when there is sharing of one pair of electrons between combining atoms then it is called as a single covalent bond again i am going to repeat how many pairs are shared one pair only one pair is shared one pair means how many electrons are shared so suppose one atom is sharing one electron then other atom is also sharing his one electron so one pair is shared in one pair how many electrons are present two electrons right so when there is a one pair is shared that time which type of bond is present single covalent bond is present okay now double covalent bond see here when there is a sharing of two pairs of electrons between combining atoms then it is called the double covalent bond okay now you can see here uh, one atom is sharing his two electrons other atom is sharing its two electrons okay so now tell me how many pairs are shared two pairs are shared in two pair how many electrons are there four electrons are there one is of this atom and another is of this okay so two pairs are shared when there is a sharing of two pairs of electron that time double covalent bond is formed okay now last is the triple covalent bond which is denoted by the three horizontal lines okay so when there is a sharing of three pairs of electrons between combining atom then it is called the triple covalent like that also here like above two example one atom is sharing his three electron other atom is sharing its three electrons okay so how many pairs are shared here three pairs in three pair means how many electrons are there 
six electrons are there okay one two three so here it is the triple covalent bond is formed okay so mutual sharing mutual means uh, if one atom is sharing one electron other is also going to share its one means there is a mutual sharing equal sharing is there okay suppose if i am giving one rupee then other is also giving the one means equal sharing is there that time the covalent bond is formed okay now let us proceed for the example let us first we will see the example of single covalent bond okay now we are going to see the example of single covalent bond okay so first we will see the formation of water molecule yes all of you are knowing the water okay what is the formula of water it is the h2o okay in water molecule that is in h2o two atoms of hydrogen right and one atom of oxygen is present hence it is how many atoms are there two of hydrogen and one of oxygen so total three atoms are there hence it is the triatomic molecule okay each hydrogen okay i am not going to write the separate so two are there so i am going to write the each hydrogen its atomic number is 1 electronic configuration is also 1 how many valence electrons are there one okay hence tell me now whether it is going to complete its octet or duplet now here it is going to complete its duplet okay hence to complete the duplet and to achieve the stable configuration of nearest inert gas helium that is two each hydrogen share one electron with the oxygen okay so each hydrogen it is going to share is one electron with the oxygen and when you are going to see the figure you will be the more clear about that now see next atom is oxygen atomic number of oxygen is 8 its electronic configuration 2 6 right now tell me here oxygen it is going to complete its octet or duplet yes it is going to complete its octet right hence to complete the octet and to achieve the stable configuration of nearest inert gas neon okay so when it is going to achieve complete its octet that time 2 8 means it is going to achieve the stable configuration of which nearest inert gas that is the neon its electronic configuration will become 2 8 hmm? oxygen shares two electron that is one with each hydrogen okay now see here in the center oxygen is there electronic uh, uh, what is its electronic configuration in k shell how many electrons are there two and in last cell how many electrons are there six okay so see here k shell two electron in last one two three four five six these are of oxygen and each hydrogen is having its one electron which is represented by that cross mark see here hydrogen is going to complete its duplet duplet right and here also this hydrogen is going to complete its duplet same time this oxygen is also going to complete its octet now count the electron 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so octet of this oxygen is also complete duplet of this both the hydrogen is also completed here okay so tell me how many pairs are shared only one pair is shared right how many pairs are shared one pair is shared that's why in h2o single covalent bond is there okay so you can see here pictorically hydrogen the electrons of hydrogen i'm going to show by the cross mark one atomic number oxygen 2 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 mm? and another hydrogen one electron is there okay so oh, see here uh this hydrogen it is going to share one electron with this oxygen and oxygen also going to share with the hydrogen so both are sharing one one electron one pair is shared here also same ha uh, one electron from this hydrogen and one electron from this oxygen so one pair is shared so there is a mutual sharing of one pair of electron then single covalent bond is formed between combining atoms which is represented as single short line so here hydrogen so here single line is drawn which is single covalent bond and these electrons are called the lone pair okay lone pair how many lone pairs are there two lone pairs are there how many single covalent bonds are present in water two single covalent bonds are present in the water correct so this is about the single covalent bond next 
see a animated part i have shown you so next example is the formation of oxygen molecule okay formation of oxygen molecule that is the o2 in oxygen molecule two atoms of oxygen are present hence it is the diatomic right so each oxygen atomic number is 8 its electronic configuration is 2 6 how many valence electrons are here there are the six valence electrons and hence to complete octet and to achieve the stable configuration of nearest inert gas neon each oxygen shares two electrons with the other oxygen okay so here each oxygen is going to share the two electrons with the other see here one oxygen its uh, electrons which is shown by the cross mark you can see here in its electronic configuration already i said to you this is the 2 6 okay so first kshl two electrons which is represented by the cross mark remaining 6 1 2 3 4 5 and this is the 6 and another whose electrons are represented by the dot marks hmm? kshl two electron in l shell six electron so to complete the octet both are needed two electron which are going to share with each other this oxygen is going to share two electron this also going to share two electron so tell me how many pairs are shared here here there is a two pairs are shared you can see more clear here also oxygen six electrons by cross mark other is six electron okay now you can see here 1 2 3 4 these are shared the, this oxygen is going to share two electrons from this and this is going to share two so complete its octet 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so octet of this oxygen is completed similarly the octet of this oxygen is also completed 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so octet of both the oxygen is completed now you can see here how many pairs of electrons are shared here here are the two pair of electrons are shared hence double covalent bond is formed so in o2 molecule double covalent bond is present you can see here also okay two pairs are shared here there is a mutual sharing of two pairs of electrons then double covalent bond is formed between combining atoms which is represented by double short lines okay so in o2 molecule okay oxygen you are knowing which is necessary for the all the living things okay and in o2 molecule which bond is present double covalent bond is present okay now formation of nitrogen molecule that is the n2 molecule in nitrogen molecule how many atoms there are the two atoms of nitrogen are present hence it is the diatomic each oxygen you are knowing the atomic number of oxygen 7 electronic configuration 2 5 valence electrons are the 5 hence to complete the octet and to achieve the stable configuration of nearest inert gas neon each nitrogen shares three electrons with the other nitrogen okay so each nitrogen it is going to share the three electrons with the other now see here first nitrogen whose electrons are shown by the cross mark okay and another it's shown by the dot mark electronic configuration 2 5 in valence cell how many electrons are there five electrons are there okay 1 1 2 3 4 5 similarly this 1 2 2 3 4 5 okay see here these are the cross marks and the electrons of this nitrogen is shown by the dot marks so they are going to complete to complete the octet it is going to share the three electrons with this now its octet is complete similarly this nitrogen is also going to share the three electron with this neighboring nitrogen so how many pairs are shared three pairs are shared hence triple covalent bond is formed okay hence in n2 molecule triple covalent bond is present there is a sharing of mutual sharing of three pairs of electrons then triple covalent bond is formed between combining atoms which is represented by triple short lines okay so all this is about the covalent bond we have seen the three types of covalent bond single covalent bond double covalent bond and triple covalent bond okay so today we will stop here see you in next lecture that is the characteristics of the covalent bond thank you